the same thing that doesn't come along very often. I'm going to enjoy him while he's around. Um, uh, there's been chat about him and his longevity, but at the minute he seems to be going better than he ever has before. And uh, even though the conditions suit, you still got to go and put the ball in the right areas. That's the right question for the batters. And uh, thought throughout this whole game, he did just that. Um, set the tone extremely well with Stewart and as a whole bowling group. I thought we were really, really good. Yeah, and his record suggests just that, doesn't it? I mean, what, 100 wickets here at Lords now? Um, and time and time again, he puts in fantastic performances, and you know that even if he's not taking wickets, he's getting it to an over, so he's always giving you control, um, as, as have the rest of the guys throughout the series as well, which is an, another pleasing thing. Um, but for him to be performing as, it, as he is, is... Uh, it's something else, isn't it? It's great to watch. It's great to be a part of, and obviously, he's a massive part of this team. Yeah, he's a, he's a big part of our squad, all three formats. Um, and it's obviously been a frustrating summer for him. He's been injured for a long part of it. And getting an opportunity to come in this week, I think the easy thing to do is to get. Uh, I was a little bit anxious, try a bit too hard, and I thought he settled in magnificently well with that first spell in particular. Um, all extremely well, and then took that confidence into his back, and that partnership really changed the game. Uh, turned it on its head and got us miles ahead of, of India on that surface. I thought we um, it was worth probably five fifty on another weekend. So uh, you know, Johnny won't get the plaudits either, but I thought he played exceptionally well. Um, and, and got us into a really good position today. You know, in terms of patience, we know that if we are consistent in the areas that we bowl for long periods of time, in these conditions, we will get rewards. And I suppose the temptation sometimes is when you start taking wickets, you start searching for it and you, you start trying to force things to happen. And ultimately, if you um, sitting on, on that area for long enough and trust the plans that we had in place, then we will it will work it over a period of time. It probably happened a little bit quicker than we anticipated throughout today, but um, that's down to the skill level of the guys to, to not only have the right plans, but to be able to back it up and, and follow through on that was it showed a great amount of skill from every single one of the holes. I don't see any lack of fight or lack of um, you know, trying. I think India are obviously doing everything they can, but from my perspective, I'm just so pleased that our bowlers are, are performing as well as they are. Um, and, uh, I think that the, you know, that's probably been what's been uh, the difference. It's not necessarily India, but how, how well we put it out and, and the, the, the areas we've, we've put the ball in, the questions that we've asked of them. And, um, you know, when you build pressure for long periods of time, it's very difficult as a batter to, um, to sort of get through that sometimes. And uh, you know, I'm just really pleased that we've managed to do that for long, long periods in, within the game, giving them nothing. I think if you get too far ahead of yourself, this game's got a funny way of buying and back at you. I think we've got to make sure that we turn up to uh, Trent Bridge and we continue to keep trying to learn and keep trying to get better. We've still not played the perfect performance yet. Um, and that's something that we've got to keep striving towards. Um, regardless of you know, what team India have out on the field on, um, at, at Trent Bridge, we've got a place we want to get to as a side and we've got to continue to keep trying to uh, work hard to get there. Um, it's obviously a great position to be in, 2-0 going into to Trent Bridge where we have had a lot of success in the past, but ultimately we've still got to play five days of really good cricket to win that game. So it's important that we obviously enjoy this this win, and then we spend the next couple of days getting ready for some good preparation in, into that third game. A, a world-class spinner like Adil not bowl a ball within a test match, um, and I suppose that's a really pleasing thing for us as well. It's, that we, we still had other options that we didn't have to go to. So it might be completely different when we turn up to Nottingham, but um, you know, I'm sure he's not minded the way this week's gone. 
uh, put it down to the way we play, probably. I, I don't like to look too much into the opposition in terms of how they go about it. That's that's up to them. But we've got to make sure that we you know, get get our game right and uh, we stick to our game plan. And then it's about executing that, uh, making sure we don't stray away from that too far. Uh, but ultimately, we've got to focus on us. And we've done that really well in these two games. It's another back-to-back -back test match. And, and that's an area we want to get right. We want to keep winning, if we can, over, over a period of the summer and not give opposition sides the opportunity to get back into the series. So, as I said, we've got hard work to do in the, in the preparation and the lead-up to this next game. Um, but it's a, it's a great position to be in. Um, in his second over, came to Mesa, feeling really good rhythm today. Um, looking forward to a long spell, which is exactly what you, what you want to hear from one of your senior bowlers. Um, and you know, he didn't disappoint me. He bowled exceptionally well. Um, in in those conditions, it must have been very difficult to, to come up against that. You know? And it's I suppose a really pleasing thing throughout this series is we're not relying on one individual. You know, every guy within that attack is putting crucial performances throughout the two games. So that's a really uh, a really good thing for this team. You know, and stands in really good stead, gives us a huge amount of confidence going into the last three games. I think making sure you don't over attack and get too giddy, but ultimately when someone's in that frame of mind and in that zone, it doesn't really matter what you put the field is. You know, you know that they're gonna I think when I ask the right questions and make it very difficult for batters, it's just about making sure you catch us where you want them to be and where you think the ball's going to go. Um, it's, it's a lovely feeling to have as, um, as captain.